Uh, pretty obvious question. How did it feel out there? It looked like you had most of your bounce back. Yeah, I felt good. Back in the yeah, just looking at, you know, take steps forward. Man. Hey, Kemba, it's pretty loud in the background there. Uh, so it, we're, we're going to ask you to just uh, try to speak up a little bit more. I know it's not the easiest environment, but thanks. Yeah. All right, that, that's better. Bob Schron uh, with our next question. Hey, Kemba. Hi, 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 uh, again, uh, glad to hear you feel, you're out there playing. Are you guys um, get more adapted to the uh, the way the game is without fans and the – sight lines, is that something that seemed better for you guys as a whole today as opposed to the first game? Uh, I mean, I, a lot of the guys said that they were a lot better today than the first game. For me, this is obviously my first game, so it was a little different and strange to me. But um, yeah, it'll be fine. I mean, it usually just, I think for the most part, you feel it more when someone shooting a free throw, it just gets like super quiet for the most part, but it's fine. I mean, once you're out there playing, nothing really matters to say the truth. Thank you. We're going to do a couple in person. Let's start with Gary Washburn. Um, talking on the floor, like the other night, Chris was so talkative. Mm -hmm. You could just hear you kind of playing the show. As a point guard, can you be in more control of things when things are just completely silent uh, than you can when you're playing in front of 18,000? Yeah. I mean, Chris, CP3, he's he's just special, you know, with that. Um, he's he's one of the best with his communication and his leadership. Um, but, yeah, you know, as as a point guard and for all of us, you know, point guards here, you know, we, we have to be in control. You know, we have to be talking in this environment. It's just so different, so quiet. You know, you kind of just have to have everybody locked in as best as you can. Um, so, yeah, it's a good question, though, yeah. Joe Varden in person. If, we, if this was, like, March 5th and we were hanging out in Boston, and I said, what, what's your goal? You, you'd probably say something like championship or whatever. But – with everything being so new and strange and weird, do you do you have goals? Can you focus on them yet? Where, where are you on? I don't make goals, honestly. I don't. Yeah, I don't make goals. I mean, I just, I just, I don't know. I, don't, I just don't. That's not something I ever really did. I just work hard and you know hope. You know my hard work pays off. So, I mean, do I have dreams? of winning the championship, no question. But um, I do think we have that opportunity. I think we can get there one day. So you know, we're just going to keep working you know, towards that um, as a team, keep getting better. Um, yeah, do what we can to, to work towards that, that dream. Okay, two more questions. Tim Bontemps. Hey, Kemba. Uh, you're a guy who's always used to playing. You always want to be out there as much as possible. Obviously, you're going through this minutes restriction. You're kind of having to go off and on in practice. Uh, is there any part of this where you kind of like want the reins to be taken off and just be able to get going, uh, even though I'm sure you understand what the, the point of all of it is? Of course. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would love to just be like, you know what? I don't care about no minute restriction or – or anything of that nature, but you know, obviously I can't. You know, I got to be smart about things. Um, you know, at this point, you know, it, just, it just is what it is. Um, and, you know, I want to. I want to be there for my teammates when you know we when, when we're in the playoffs, and hopefully by then the restrictions and things that of that nature is is, is completely off. And last question, Abby Chin. Actually, I have two, Christian. Sorry. Uh, Kemba, first of all, how strange is it without the fans? Are you someone who feeds off of that? And it's got to be disappointing you get to you don't get to experience TD Garden in the playoffs with all of that. That's my first one. And then the second one is just how exciting is it to see Jalen get right back on track after the hiatus and then also Jason getting hot this afternoon? Uh, yeah, it's tough without the fans. I definitely would have loved to experience the Garden during the playoffs. I just know it's one of the greatest atmospheres, you know, during the playoffs. But um, like I said, you just have to kind of adjust and adapt to your, you know, to your situations. Um, 
you know, it is what it is here. And as far as those two guys, JB and JT, they work super hard. You know, I, I know the work they put in over the hiatus, and you know, it's it's going to pay off. It's going to pay off. Um, two special talents. Um, you know, JB looked like he hasn't missed a beat. And then JT came in, you know, today, super aggressive. Um, and he's he seen some shots fall. And, um, and I'm happy for him. And hopefully he can continue to, you know, see the ball go in and, you know, continue where he left off before all this stuff.